So here's the funny thing. Um, I'm actually going to put this in the beginning of the video because I forgot to mention it, but this deck that you guys are seeing, I actually used it with a level 9 Ice Spirit. Okay, it's only level 10 now. I used it with a level 9 Ice Spirit and a level 6 Hog Rider. My Hog Rider was not level 7. So I was using this deck with all these level cards except for level 9 Ice Spirit and level 6 Hog Rider. So if I was able to do it with those cards, if your cards are higher level than that, you should be able to do it too. <laughs> Yo guys, what is up? It is your Average Clasher here, and today I wanted to share with you guys my very secret, my very special deck. Uh, if you guys seen my How I Got to Legendary Arena or Arena 9 video, you guys will know already that these are the cards that my, spe my special deck consists of, and it's a pretty simple deck. It's a very cheap deck. Um, I, I made this deck on my own, thankfully. I don't know. I just used a lot of cards that I liked, and apparently it worked out. The only card I didn't like and was afraid of using was the Ice Bear because I never used it before. So I just thought I threw it in. I seen everybody using the Ice Bear, so I'm like, and everybody's saying it's broken, so I'm like, you know what? Let me try this card out, see what it could do. And what do you know? I love the damn card. So um, it's a great card, and I feel like it goes really well with this deck. This is a very cheap deck, as I mentioned, and pretty much all all of the cards are cheap except for the Minion Horde. So it's it's really nice and it's a very fast-paced deck. I haven't played uh, any matches in a while, especially on the ladder. I've been at 3,018 trophies for the longest time ever, probably like two, three, four weeks now. I don't even know. Um, so I'm actually going to play on the ladder and attempt to show you guys how I use this deck uh, and try and get some good matches for you guys live. Now I haven't played Clash Royale at all in a few days. Um, I haven't played any matches. Uh, obviously I check the shop every day and stuff like that. but. We're gonna head into some matches. I'm I've been staying in Legendary Arena just to rack up cards and stuff like that, so I could get a lot of cards. But I don't get a lot of money. I don't get a lot of gold by you know not playing matches. I want to get Crown Chess again because it's fun and because I need the gold to upgrade some cards. So with that being said, guys, this is the deck. Um, and I'm gonna play a couple matches and try and speak throughout the matches and say kind of what I do. Um, and then we'll go from there. So let's see uh, now since the last time I used this deck the ice spirit has been nerfed It's a 0.5 second decrease on the freeze time But other than that, I think everything else is the same So let's go ahead and hop into a match 2.9 elixir cost and let's see what happens I haven't played in a long time. This is not my best time to play of the day But we're gonna go for it anyway 3035 trophies we're facing uh, Carlito or Carlito and so what I use is I, I often start with skeletons in my hand. I just use them to cycle. And then we have this push, so we're going to go ahead and do this. And let's see what this could do. I have zap as well. Let's go ahead and zap. He zapped away my um, fire spirits, which sucks. But it's okay because uh, my mini P.E.K.K.A. with the zap was able to do a lot of work there. So we're going to have to defend this. Okay, one skeleton is going to go back. That's fine. So we're about even now in damage, which is pretty nice. Um, could have been a lot worse. He has a pack of barbs, so it's good to know. Now I know that I gotta do this push instead with the Valkyrie. Hog right behind it, Ice Spirit. So I'm kind of nervous, I'm not gonna lie. And the reason is because... The reason is because I haven't played a match in a while. So as you guys can see, those are the two types of pushes I really do. I'm going to place this right behind here, just to take out this witch, give you no problems. And so we almost took his tower. So what I like to do sometimes, actually never mind, he has zap I think. I'm not sure if he used it or not, I'm pretty rusty as you guys can probably see. But <clears throat> those are really the only two types of pushes I do. I'm going to have to do this right here and get my minion horde down. And then put one elixir skellies on here. Alright, so he did a lot of damage right there, which is pretty GG, well played to him. Um, and then I'm just going to send a lone hog in here um, and hope I can take his tower. He's crying, so I assume we'll be able to get it, but just in case... Alright, good. So his crying face meant he had no elixir. Uh, that's why sometimes using emotions is bad, because, you know, it kind of gives away your situation if, you know you don't have elixir or something like that so I'm assuming he has a, a strong spell card that could take out my tower or he's just gonna do that 
So this should be able to take it out quick. Put a hog in here. So we're just trying to overwhelm him at this point. I'm going to zap away some of those skeletons. And let's see how much damage we could do. Alright, so he played really good defense. He had a lot of cards ready for defense. He's going to want to come back with the Royal Giant to finish off this tower. And by all means, he's most likely going to get it. I'm just going to play some mini P.E.K.K.A. when he looks for skeletons on here. He still has the Miner, which i got to be careful about. Um, so that's something to worry. I placed the Hog? I meant to play skeletons. My bad. So... <clears throat> Um, that Hog Rider was a complete waste. Luckily, he didn't capitalize too much. He's going to zap and take that. He didn't even need zap, so... We got to really play... He just... No, I thought he zapped. As you guys can see, I'm all over the place. So, we're just going to try and... Just try and overwhelm this guy if we can. Try and make it to the tower. Can't quite get there, though. This is a tough match. It's a tough match. Um, I feel like he has the advantage in double elixir time. Which isn't obviously good for me. Um, so he has the miner coming in. Play some one elixir skeletons. Alright, I want to place this right here. And then I want to place this. I think we're going to lose this one. Uh, let's see if we could draw this one. Let's see if we could get a draw. <coughs> Right now I'm just playing defense, playing defensive cards. Watch him have a rocket and just like GG me. Alright, so we got a draw. Um, I couldn't really talk about too much my, my pushes because I'm really nervous. I haven't played in a long time. So I'll kind of, after that match, I'll kind of just show you guys the cards and show you guys typically what I like to do. So the best starting hand is Valkyrie, um, Hog Rider, Fire Spirits, Ice Spirit. Okay, and you want zap, and you're gonna get zapping within the rotation because that uses your whole hand. And then you want to start with that push. You want to go a Valkyrie first, a little wait a second or so, a half a second, and then place your Hog Rider behind it to try and push it forward. Place Fire Spirits a little ways back so that if they zap, they're not gonna get your entire push. Um, and then you want to place Ice Spirit as well. So don't wait too long with the Fire Spirits, otherwise if they have Minion Horde, they're just the Minion Horde is just gonna kill your entire push right away. But that push usually works out really, really well. Um, if you have skeletons in your starting hand without other good cards in your starting hand, just, you know, rot cycle the skeletons in the back of the arena. Uh, that's what I like to do. And if you have a tower, they have a tower with really low HP. Sometimes I like to place skeletons in front of fire spirits and just send those at a tower. Because if they ignore it, the fire spirits will make it to the tower and do like about 700 damage or 650 damage. If you want to add zap as well, it could be even more damage. So I'm going to go ahead and go into another one. Um, this deck doesn't really have the best defenses, that's why I have Minion Horde. Minion Horde is really your only defense in this deck, um, as along with one Elixir Skeletons and Valkyrie, but other than that, so we have a really, really good starting hand here, so I'm going to go ahead and try and uh, show you guys what I like to do with it, and we'll see what, what happens. So I'm going to go ahead and zap, there we go. So his Princess is in the, the Rage spell, which sucks, but... As you guys can see, almost took out his entire his entire tower. Go ahead and kill this. I'm gonna go ahead and use this. Hog gets off one shot. Not bad. Um, so yeah, we just defended his push as well as almost took his tower. So a single hog on that tower will be fine. Um, I'm not sure if he has a, a building to place down to distract my hog. So we're gonna have to find out. Um, I'm going to send a lone hog in, just see what it does. Sometimes that's the best thing you can do. Um, Alright, so he has that. Alright, perfect. Got the swing off. If I didn't get the swing off, I would have just wasted zap completely, which would have definitely sucked. So, glad I got this, this uh, swing off. And now we're going to just try and take out these with this. One of these are skeletons. He has the freaking princess though as well. So, Ice ice Wizard, you don't got to worry about his damage too much, um, because it does really low damage, so don't need to worry about that. Um, you know what, I don't want this... I don't want that thing to make it over to my side. It's just too scary. I'm not going to get a swing off, but it's fine. I didn't want that Barbarian, or what is it called? Lumberjack. I didn't want that Lumberjack reaching my side of the tower, or the arena. So... Um, we're pretty we're pretty even. He's gonna want to push that side, and when he does, I think I'm gonna make a hard push over here. Okay, so he placed three elixirs, so he's a little bit elixir short. 
Okay, and there we go. Send this to add to the the factor. All right, jump. Place this over here. This for the hog. One elixir skeletons because I took that tower. I could place on his side of the arena. And then we're gonna wait for this thing to lock on our tower, and then minion horde. We're gonna bring out the minion horde. Like that. Place a hog. I don't know if he gave up at this point. Um, the game was it would be tough for him to come back from. So I'm gonna hit him with a well played. And that's kind of how you want to play the deck. I'm really surprised I'm able to still pull things off with this deck. Uh, I haven't played in a while. He left the match. I don't know if you guys were able to see that. Um, but yeah, so tw plus 29 trophies. Um, I, I think I kind of showed you guys everything that I'd like to with this deck. You guys see how I play defense? Really, only you know. Go according to what they have, okay? So if they have a giant or golem or royal giant coming to your side, uh, if they have a splash troop behind it, like a wizard, place something on the floor first, so your Valkyrie, only your Valkyrie, place that on the floor to tank the wizard shots, then place the minion horde to destroy the tank, okay? If they have a hog rider coming, you could use anything. You could use fire spirits, skeletons, mini horde, mini pack, anything literally to deal with the hog. Um, ice spirit, as you guys saw. So... There's nothing really to be afraid of with this deck. The only thing that really kind of annoys me when I use this deck is Infernal Towers. Um, but still, I use Minion Hordes against those. Really, when a, an, an opponent has an Infernal Tower, I think that's the hardest thing for me to overcome with this deck. So really, what usually happens is we just end up drawing, which I'm fine with. As long as I'm not losing, it's winning, <laughs> technically. Um, so yeah, that's, that's my secret deck. This is my special deck. If you guys don't know a good deck or you're looking for a good deck to really get to Legendary Arena, I could vouch. I was someone who was looking for decks as well. And honestly, I kept trying. I kept going on tilt. I kept putting random cards together, seeing if I could come up with something until one day I decided to use my favorite cards. And if you guys want to see a video on my favorite cards, click the top right side of this video right now. Um, so yeah, I just decided to put a bunch of my favorite cards together along with a couple other cards and use that. And also when you're using a deck that consists of mostly your favorite cards, it makes the game more fun to play. It makes you want to use the deck, you know? It's, it's actually really fun to use this deck because it consists of so many of my favorite cards. And with that being said, guys, I hope you guys found this video helpful. I hope you guys, if you guys decide to try this deck out, um, let me know how the results are. If you guys have a similar deck to this one, let me know in the comment section right below that like button. Speaking of which, if you guys found this video to be above average, then let me know by hitting that like button. And until next time, guys, stay calm and clash on, and I'll see you on the next one. See y'all later.